Okay, I'm Jim Morrison from SAFA, the Armed Forces Charity. We're here today in Sarajevo, it's eight o'clock in the morning, and we're on day seven of the Rally for Heroes Challenge. Um, very, very thankful for Rally for Heroes for choosing SAFA as their charity. SAFA is the Armed Forces Charity. We help everyone, not just the soldier on the front line, but the whole family unit. We are the family charity that really helps the children, the wives, the grandmothers, the entire military family. To give an example, one of the families who we helped recently is uh, Jamie and Mandy Small, who came along to the launch. Jamie's father, very sadly, took his own life after serving uh, for many years and doing many tours. What we did was we were there when Jamie and Mandy needed us. So we helped find bereavement. We helped make sure that the family could get through the tough periods. What we do is we are always there. We're like a big brother or a big sister. Safa is the friend in the family. The rally so far has raised 130,000 pounds. That will make a huge impact to Safa. We're lucky to say that for every pound, we get 93 pence back going to the people who need it most. One of the things that we can do is we've set up a new home, which will be based outside the new Defence Rehabilitation Centre and that can care for families waiting for their injured and loved ones whilst they're in hospital rehabilitating. That's gonna cost in the region of about a million pounds. This fundraising will take us a huge step towards helping us to achieve the goal of providing support and care for the armed forces and their families. But I think as you were just saying, you know, uh, given what you're doing and given the way that you're trying to remember the fallen from the conflict in Afghanistan, I'm really glad you had an opportunity to remember the 59 yeah. British service personnel who gave their lives for new peace and stability to this country. Uh, this is a beautiful country with wonderful people and you've had a bit of a chance and a bit of a taste of that, but it is not yet fully at ease with itself. And so it's really important to me and to the embassy that we keep Bosnia and Herzegovina in the minds of British people and the public. Uh, so please go back, please tell people what a wonderful place this is. Uh, get them to come here and experience it for themselves because the more <coughs> traffic uh, and connections we can have, the more we'll be able to help pull this country forward uh, to uh, a much more positive and stable future. So thank you very much. Drive safely uh, and well done. It's a fantastic <laughs> Thank you.
Good morning, welcome to day eight, Rally Coast 2018. So today is day eight, we're in Zagreb and we're heading off to Munich shortly. It is a balmy 30 degrees outside already, first thing in the morning. 
goodness me, it could be here. Uh, looking forward to getting a bit of coolness when we go back home. So uh, today, like I said, is up to Munich, passing through Slovenia, um, then into Austria, up the Grossglockner Pass. Fingers crossed the weather will hold out for us. It's an amazing pass, some amazing twisties, and beautiful views. And then back down over the other side and into Germany, into Munich, and get ourselves some bratwurst. So what else do you have to do in Germany? So uh, until we speak again, I'll find out and speak to you soon. Thanks.